Hello, my glorious people of the internet, and today we're back with some more O2. Um, I'm not sure how long this series continue, but for now it's going to continue. Um, so, sorry in the last episode, it's a bit weird. I had to record the last episode right before stream, that's why I acted weird. But now, plenty of time, we can finally get back to hopefully not making these people suffocate, drown, be eaten, or... Um, I, I think that's the only way they can die is suffocate and not have enough food and be eaten by monsters. Although I'm yet to stumble across one that actually harms you. Directly. There's, there's some called puffs. They actually spit out polluted oxygen. But they don't kill you directly. There's nothing that like automatically just kills you for no reason. Um, uh, we are going to have to make three mush bars. Just to make sure we have a little bit more calories. These are at 45%, at least most of them. That one's at 56. So we are having some mealworms on the way. Or, um, what is it called? Mealwood. We have some mealwood on the way. Oxygen, completely fine. Carbon dioxide's all built up down here. These are all fixing that. Um, everything is good. So, stressed people. Stinky is always stressed, so there's nothing we can really do there. But everyone's a bit, uh, just a tiny bit stressed. Stressed. So I'm gonna calm down a couple of them so may and uh, stinky is always at five percent and then we'll go for our third person right there all right you get a massage or not depending okay so may's up there getting that nice poop okay um so research research where are we on the research okay so we finally got that we need to build a supercomputer and or make it functional that's what we needed to do. Okay. So that's incapable of research. Because I did a goof. And now we have to wait for 10 uh, supercomputer science or Im immediate research. Intermediate research. So the power's fine. Everything's good. The are, We're not really running low on too many materials. So we have a couple options. We can either expand, take up this whole Earth-like place... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need algae. If we don't get algae, we'll die soon. And most of this is already oxygen. We've already filtered most of it out into the bottom. So this place is fully functional to breathe and stuff. So I think we're going to use this to get some algae. So let's go ahead and climb up with some ladders. And then we'll go across. They Remember, they can reach like two... They can reach two blocks away from wherever they're standing. That's a vacuum. Okay. And then I also want to build a third floor. I think we're going to expand our, our mealwood potential by putting it at the very top. This may be like a little backup. You do want multiple farms because as soon as these uh, have all of their harvest done, you'll have to rely on another food source. So you want to plant um, different crops in different places. Not different crops, but different different sets of plants at different times to make sure that you always have enough food so I think we'll turn this into just a big a big um, mealwood production place and we also need beds that's another thing we could use so I do think we are going to extend this is just barely breathable oxygen so I think what we'll do is we'll bring a ladder down here to the basement and then we're just going to dig all of this out. And then we're also going to put a ladder up here. I'm going to build a ladder across. And a ladder down the center. Just making scaffolding to make sure they can dig all of it out. Okay, there we go. So they should be able to reach all that. And then we'll figure something out to do with the top. I don't think that's our main concern at the moment. But we will start working on this for like a sleeping area. And plus, since it will be like a lower part of the base, all of their carbon dioxide will fall down while they sleep, which will be very helpful because then our algae terrariums can pick it up. Okay, we are going to have this door always open so it can start sharing some oxygen. So it's not just empty in there with oxygen. So that will always stay open. Uh, we're still going to have that like that and that like that. See, it is starting to make some contaminated... Uh, polluted oxygen so we will want to 
hopefully get our research done pretty soon. We're halfway done on the intermediate research. Okay, so we, we made those. Let us start digging up some algae. So we need algae to make sure we don't run out of the oxygen. Which we're doing pretty good on. And here's kind of bad, but that's just water collecting. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So the snowy place is dropping down the temperature in, like right here to about 16. So if we look at our temperature overlay, this will actually cool us down quite a bit coming into here. Hmm. We can see that it's starting to get around 80, 88 degrees. Which is not the best. I think temperature is another thing we could work out. So all the heat is up here by the plants. And our cooling potential is at the top. Which is good because then it can flow down and start cooling stuff up. But uh, for the meantime, everything's just warm and temperate. And some of these places where there's a vacuum is like freezing cold. Um, okay. There we go. So they're going to continue to work on that. And hopefully dig some algae pretty soon. Alright. Uh, okay, so we're starting to run out of algae. I'm actually going to bump up these guys' priority to uh, about an 8. Doesn't need to be their biggest thing. I'm going to also level that off. Doesn't need to be their biggest thing, but it does need to be a main concern. Hmm. So we do have some slime up here. So this is probably what we'll have to start converting into algae with bio distillers which are actually there are those bio distiller yep so it can turn slime into algae drops algae every 10 kilograms um we can also get some muffs is what i believe they're called muffs or muffs or they float around in contaminated oxygen and poop out algae well slime that thus we can turn into algae okay so we got another guy um or girl depending Okay, so they're all destructive, um, and we don't really need another one, so I'm going to reject them all. Wait for another another good one. Okay, so these guys are almost ready to harvest, so I am going to put mm, lice loaf on. And actually, we're going to make crank that up to a max priority. Um, ooh, we got some polluted oxygen coming in here. That's why we really need to get our air de 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 deodorizer pretty soon that would be very helpful so we do have some algae we got some algae in here these are hard at work to make sure we're all good on the carbon dioxide situation although this is filling up a little bit too much with carbon dioxide so I do feel like we'll have to make a few more in here um, if we go to oxygen okay so we have one of these now we're going to pump that in there. We're also going to leave one. Um, hmm. Where should we put this? I would like to put it here. Hmm. Also like to put one in here. Okay, so we'll build one right there. And then I'm also going to take down one of these. Real quick. Okay, there we go. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to make sure that they cannot pick up fertilizer, polluted algae, I mean polluted dirt or slime, just to make sure that we don't, because these will, you can't just store stuff that gives off um, air gases, because then it just lets it out. So we're going to take out all that. We'll make uh, specific places where we can put all these in the future, but for now, our polluted dirt can just stay there emitting stuff and this can just scrub it and this can take out the dioxide in here so this guy is now sick our when we finally start getting our lice loaf it should get better so we're at 85 percent we do have a day and a half about until we start running out of food okay so we're getting here so i am going to go ahead and plant three more of those so they can take care of the carbon dioxide situation a little bit better seems to be there's a lot of carbon dioxide coming out of this thing or around it for some reason 
Oh, maybe because it falls down and then falls down on here because this is where the, all the carbon dioxide is. All right, so that's almost built. Can we please make that a priority? That would be, that'd be nice. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Okay, immediately takes out all of that polluted, all of the polluted oxygen, which is very nice. Okay, so the polluted dirt's just gonna stay here for a bit, and it does emit clay as well. Quite a bit of clay, actually. Oh, no, that's kilograms. This is just grams. So, not not very much. Okay, so we took out all of the algae. We have one more, and then we'll deconstruct this. Slowly. Um, wait, what are these actually... Okay, reduces disease. Okay, so why is this working? You shouldn't be filtering anything, because it has nothing to filter. Or do they always just run? I feel like they always just run. Um, there is stuff being emitted here. Okay, so put an air deodorizer there. I'm gonna crank that all the way up to a nine priority. And our lice loaf is almost done. Um, we will have to make a few mush bars, just just to make sure. We have enough calories. Fabricate. We'll make we'll make three of those. That seems decent. Just to get us through the rest of the day, probably until we're able to use this. Okay, algae. We're out of algae again. Great. Okay, we got algae down here. A ton of it too. Okay, so we're just gonna build on to this ladder since it's already done. We're gonna dig down there. Take out all that. Take out all that. We'll go gonna crank all this up level nine level nine baby it's all level nine okay so that's still making clay and taking the ox stuff out of the air it's actually almost gone oh wait no you can see over time it slowly starts to lose mass because because it's emitting it okay let's make people not as stressed stinky can be a little bit less stressed stinky come here Look at my main man, Stinky. He's got that curly hair. Come on, jump up in there. Jump up in that massage table. Okay, so this thing's now built. It's inhaling polluted oxygen. Apparently, there is micrograms of polluted oxygen there. And there's nothing there. Okay. So all this uses is sand. And if we go look at sand, we have an absolute ton of it. Actually, we have a couple tons of it. I believe, I don't know how heavy a kilogram is, because I am American and we use pounds, but I believe a kilogram, in fact, I'm not going to say anything about it, because I have no clue how much, uh, how much a gram is. In this game, I do, and uh, I'm in there, no, no clue. Okay, there is an absolute ton of carbon dioxide here. It does look like it's starting to take care of it a little bit better than it was. And this is almost taken out as well. And then we should be good on everything. Although the pressure is kind of not good. Because this is very not pressurized very well. And then this is kind of pressure, really pressurized. And this is just where we're collecting all of our carbon dioxide. Alright. Just keep producing stuff. Okay, so we got all that. I'm actually going to dig this stuff okay so we're almost done building this and then I will go ahead and slap tiles across the whole thing and then put perforated tiles here and here because I don't want these two connected but I do want gas to flow in between them I might I may make an airlock even though that's stupid all right and then deconstruct all of that because they can reach it Okay, go to beds. Goes to beds, my little colonists. Go to bed. So this nasty thing still making coal for us up here. Yep, it's eating. It's eating things and turning it into coal, which is very nice. Um, but our main concern right now should be, we need to start pumping stuff. We need to make a water filtration room. We need to start making a water. Water filtration room. Alright. 
Here we go. Okay, so we do need all of this sweeped up so we can block it off. So we don't have to deal with it. Or what we could do is make a little corridor from here to here and then pump it back up to our oxygenation room. And put a gas filter on it so it only pumps out all of this carbon dioxide that keeps falling down here. Actually, I'm actually going to deconstruct this because I do think it actually inhibits the flow of oxygen. Okay, uh, so we don't need this. We don't need this. Alright. We don't need any of those. Mm, okay, so that's good. We're going to start building tile. And we're going to go up from there. That needs to be deconstructed. We're going to go up from there. As soon as we get all this done. I'm going to slap a level 9 priority on all these things. Oh, you can't, apparently. You can do it here. It's very weird. Okay, maybe if I prioritize a couple of these, they'll get all of them. Okay, maybe if I prioritize like one of these, maybe they'll be like, oh, we really need to just sweep everything up. Okay, so I'll make two of these high priority, and we actually have a harvest. Um, do we, we need to, we need to put a level priority nine on this. Oh, we can't. Okay, so you can on the action, but you can't in the priority screen. Uh, no fabrication queued. Uh, we need to fabricate lice loaf, lice loaf. Lice loaf. L Licey lice loaf. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. They're just picking up stuff. I see. I think they're actually moving things. Okay. So we'll make everything priority nine. Is everything priority nine? Everything's priority nine. What are they doing? Oh, they're taking this itty bitty bits of clay that they have and then like, oh, okay. So we'll bump that down to a seven. It needs to be a high priority, but it doesn't need to be emergency level. Okay, so it seems like that's all they know how to do. So I'm going to bump these up to higher priorities than other things so they'll actually come harvest it. There we go. Take all of that yumminess and slap it in the machine. I mean, it still looks bad, but it's better than the mush bars. It's better than... Don't eat the... Don't eat the crops. We can turn it into more food. Do not eat this. Can I tell them not to eat this? It's 99% fresh. Okay. okay. That's already a level 9 priority. No one's cooking, apparently. Can anyone cook? Okay. You can. Why are you not cooking? Here. You know what? That's all you can do is cook. Get over there. Cook some stuff. Yeah, it's her. Okay, you can sweep as well. No, that's all they're doing is just taking that itty bitty bits of clay that they find. That's not what we need to be doing. Okay, may did I make this a priority nine? Maybe that's... I may have made the thing a priority nine. No? In fact, I'm going to make that a two. Or a four. Okay, maybe we bump these down back to a five. Maybe that makes it more reasonable. Okay, so we get all this lice loaf. Um, and our battery situation seems to be not working. Okay, so people are getting stressed, probably because of lack of food. Well, we have food, it's just not stored. Okay. Ooh, there is a lot of carbon dioxide. Why is there a lot of carbon dioxide? Why must there be a lot? That tiny little terrarium thing can't take care of it. Did it fill up and start pouring over? I doubt it. Okay, we do need to start researching some other things, though, which I am going to go down this route so we can start filtering out things. 
Okay, so we got some lice loaf. Okay, so one of them makes 1,000 calories. And five of them... Okay, so it takes ten to make one of these, I'm assuming. Or maybe they make more. If this one makes more, then it should bump that up to... Okay, so you do get more out of making this than just eating that. Good to know. Co always cook your food. Okay, we still have that polluted ox polluted water down there. Um, medical cot. That may be a good idea. Um, I should have ke kept my scaffolding there. Okay, where are all their priorities and where do they lie? I think we need to do a clean on that. We go back to the things that actually are important, like food making and this. Okay, even if it's at 80 percent, we still need to charge batteries. Even if it's at eighty percent, we should still charge our batteries. No, just just to make sure. Just to make sure. Um. Ooh, we can harvest that. Oh, toasty surroundings. How hot is it? Oh, maybe it needs to be like really cold up there or something. Stiffed. That sounds horrible. It needs to be stiffed. Okay, so you can see that these are already grown back. They start from 50 once again until they reach their harvest limit and then they go all the way back down to zero. Okay. So we're at 8,000 calories now. Research is being done, although construction is not underway at all. You can continue all of your jobs again. Alright. Start building stuff, please. That'd be very nice. Hold on, we're going to priority eight everything here. So it's important, but it's not the end of the world if it doesn't happen. Nine means, like, do it now. That's like food. That That's a pretty important thing. Everyone needs to eat. That's a... In fact, I'm actually going to... Toilet needs to be cleaned. So it doesn't overflow. And put polluted water everywhere. Ooh, new people. Are any of you good? Um, vomiter. Okay, so you're the only person I would consider. Um, tinkering. No, oh, he sucks up too much oxygen. Okay, maybe these guys are really good. Quick learner, but she can't fight. Her decor skills are good as well. She's a good researcher. Yeah, we'll take you, even though you're destructive. I think we already have a couple destructive people, but... What can you say? Okay. You, oh, you're so. Oh, I'm so sorry. You had to clean the toilet. Oh, that's such a. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. So bad. Okay, we need to start dismantling those. We're out of algae again. This is a problem that I keep running into. So we are gonna have to start to convert. Pressure rising. Okay, so we are going to have to start to collect even more algae now, because now we have none. So I think what I'm going to have to do is build a little bitty airlock up here. So we can open this up without all the carbon dioxide falling in. I mean, it would slowly come in, which we can handle, or maybe not. Depends. On the situation. Although this little clump has got smaller. And most of this is gone. Uh, food shortage. Ah, oh, it's great, isn't it? It's always great when you have no food. That's uh, that's great. It's great. Okay. So all those walls are done. So we can take can take that down. Oh, don't, no, don't deconstruct that. Cancel destruction. Okay. We need to build you as well. And then we will make... Okay, so one, two, three... We'll make this a three tall building. We will take down the ladder from going straight down. And then, uh, hold on. Wait, 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 hold up. Um, no, just C, cancel it. We don't necessarily need you. Um, okay, so we're gonna run, okay, so in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run tile along this top thing right here. And start to get it all. We're going to fi start finishing up all this. I'll probably make this bottom room taller than it's supposed to be. 
so we can fit showers and stuff down there because here it's just overcrowded. Uh, we also need to work up here, starting to start to get this into a more hospitable place for some more plants. Um, and preferably, that would be the case because we're already on our second harvest and it's about to be ready. So I would like this to be done in the next episode. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. It's been 25 minutes. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave, the li leave a like. Helps me out tremendously. Um, if there's something you didn't like, tell me about it. If there's something you did like, tell me about it too. I've been Atlas Gamer. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.